This year's awardee is Dr. Gangandeep Kang. Dr. Kang is an adjunct professor with Christian Medical College in Vellore, India. She's also now the director of Enteric Diagnostic Genomics and Epidemiology at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in Seattle. She's being awarded for extensive cohort-based epidemiological, environmental, and clinical trial research on enteric diseases in children and their effects on the life course with significant impact on vaccine development and health policy in India and internationally. Well, thank you very much to the Gedner Foundation and to John Dirks. It's a privilege to be here and to receive this medal with you on the stage. Um, you know, when you start with thank yous, there's always a really long list. My father isn't with us today, but um, everything that I am, I learned from my parents and my sister, my natal family. So my parents both came across during the partition. That's why this song, it's a song that actually was, um, is a song in Punjabi, but from Pakistan. Um, my father was an engineer who taught me that there was never a wrong time to learn something new. He was learning into his 60s, 70s um, throughout his life, never afraid to take on a challenge to learn new things. And my mother, of course, taught me that there is absolutely nothing that I could not do. Because, you know, give her a challenge, she will make sure that whatever it is that needs to be done will get done. And my sister has given me unconditional support, as did my parents throughout my entire life, and has been a problem solver as well. So in India, to solve problems, you need connections. She always found somebody who knew somebody that I could talk to, to figure out whatever needed to be done. And then I had, um, you know, I have Jay and my older son, Arjun, here. Jay is a neurosurgeon who has never had a hot meal in his life. <laughs> and he's not going to get one. And he's fine with that. <laughs> and when it comes to my children, Arjun is here, Tej is not. Uh, both of them actually trained in medicine and in law and decided that they didn't want to follow their, that path and I respect them both for that and for turning out to be really, really good human beings. So it's been an incredible journey. I come from the Christian Medical College, Velo, my alma mater. Its motto is to minister, not to be ministered unto. And that's kind of defined everything that I've done in my life, but I had teachers who taught me one, that this is an institution that was set up to serve people. Whatever you do, it has to be service. The second thing they taught me was really follow the data. If the data doesn't show you what you think you should be seeing, the data is more likely to be right than your framing of the question. So this has also served me really, really well. And then finally, I've had many teachers who taught me to be truly ambitious in the questions that I chose to work on. So in terms of impact, I think the only thing that I really want to say is that my impact is people who worked with me, the fact that I could choose to leave Velo and move to the Gates Foundation because I knew I was leaving the work that I had started in hands that are much better than mine, with much smarter people. And in terms of the vaccines themselves, the one thing I will tell you is a story. 
I had my very first cohort. We recruited kids while their mothers were pregnant and then followed these children. It was supposed to be for three years, but they're now 23 and they're having their own kids. But one of the fathers came to me about six or seven years after this study was done. And at the time, we started the rotavirus study as an observational study. He came back after six years and he says, now I know why you did this study. You told us it was to study a virus that had to do with diarrhea. And I've just heard that there is a new rotavirus vaccine. Wasn't the one we made? but I took the credit anyway, so thank you.